Hi, people. Here is a question. Why do we hate Heartland Season 14? Usually, we would question if people hate something since hate is a very strong word. But, as far as the Heartland Season 14 is concerned, it seems like there is a consensus over this season and fans are pretty vocal about their feelings towards it. But before diving into what has happened in Season 14, we should take a look at Heartland as a show and analyze what it means for its fans. Heartland was premiered back in 2007, 15 years ago. At the time, the only things we knew about the show were the fact that it was based on Lauren Brooks' Heartland book series, and it was taking place in Alberta, Canada. Alberta is known for its impressive nature and country life. So, when Heartland turned out to be a show about a rancher family, we were not surprised. The fans of the book were happy to get a live-action adaptation of it, since the book had an emotional impact on them. The ones who were oblivious about the book were still hooked on the show since from the first moment it was obvious that the show was willing to be a wholesome one. Even back in 2007, before the presence of all the social media and heavy use of the internet, life was still very complicated and tiring. Especially for the people in the big cities, it was very difficult to keep up with anything in life and provide a stress-free area for themselves, just like today. So, Heartland has become an amazing excuse to not be overwhelmed with life. Whenever the people were done with the struggles of their daily life, they found themselves in front of a TV, watching Heartland to ease their mind. The characters of the show were the ones who were contributing to its wholesomeness of it the most. Even though the show had started with a tragic death, everyone was very brave about such a major loss and did not fall flat on experiencing the mourning process. They were not dramatizing or romanticizing the mourning, but they were making sure to experience it thoroughly without overlooking it. So we got to experience a perfect portrayal of a loss and grieving process, which we appreciate. This initial exposition to the series has become the one that clicked with us the most, which lasted for 15 long years. The interesting thing was that yet another loss has become the one that makes us question this exact bond that we have with the show. It will always amaze us how one loss made the heartland while the other almost ruined it. We're not sure if the showrunners were acting deliberately in providing such a full circle in the series, but intentionally or unintentionally, they managed us to feel like we have completed our Heartland journey and are ready to move on. The second death that we are referring to is the death of Ty Borden, an amazing man with an arc that has been the favorite of many fans. He was coming from a troubled family and was the last gift of Amy's mother Marion to the Heartland Ranch. He was kind, hardworking, and genuine in his approach to the family. His relationship with Amy was especially prominent as the two shared a mutual attraction that is visible even through the TV screen. Of course, the actors who were playing the characters were not dating. However, they were pretty good at delivering their parts to the point that many people assumed they were real-life partners. The couple's angst was the driving force of the show for the first couple of seasons. Then, the angst has turned into a respectful, healthy relationship that we all admired. The healthy nature of this relationship was highly related to the wholesome character of Ty Borden. Ty was unlike any other male character that we watched on TV. Now, imagine any male TV character. Most of them are very masculine, assume that jealousy and possessiveness are the signs of great love, prone to lean to violence, and pretend as if their desires are the most important thing in the universe. Well, Ty was the exact opposite of that. He was a very respectful person and treated Amy, not as a princess, but as an equal partner whom he will spend his life with. He was very fond of Amy for sure, but he also made clear that he was not only involved with Amy, but also considered her his best friend. Thus, their attraction was backed by a major emotional bond which made their relationship pretty unique. When their daughter has born, Ty quickly proved that he will be a great father as well. Unfortunately, we only got to observe his fatherhood for three seasons. In the season 13 finale, we watched Ty being shot at by an illegal hunter who was originally targeted at a wolf. The wound didn't seem very serious at first, but still he was immediately taken under the operation. The operation was a success, and he managed to return to the ranch and spend more time with Amy and Lindy. And yet, only a few days later a blood clot intervened and took him from us. The exact death took place in Season 14 Episode 1 of Heartland. The rest of the season was filled with the families grieving after Ty and struggling to cope with it. The difference between their grieving back in Season 1 and Season 14 was the fact that in Season 1, we weren't very familiar with Marion. So, even though we were sad to see Amy losing her mother, we didn't care much about it and regarded it simply as a plot device. Ty, however, was very dear to our hearts. We were very fond of him and could not believe he died, so we were angry to see him gone. This anger turned into frustration when the show got away from its wholesomeness and got a very tragic turn. The entire season 14 was very depressing and for us, who were already dealing with a global pandemic, it was utterly unbearable. What do you think about Heartland season 14? 
Do you find it unbearable too? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.